Dynamite. How's it going, all you guys and girls in the Illumination? Time to jump aboard the Loom Train. It's me, it's me, it's JJD, JJ Double J, the Illuminator here. Oh, also known by almost countless other aliases and nicknames, but we won't get into that right now. This is how somebody told me I should be looking at politics. Now, this kind of makes some sense to most people, makes some sense to me. Um, just on the surface, we're not getting into, you know, uh, anything below the surface. We all know when someone is trying to get elected into any type of an office, I don't care if it's president, governor, senator, representative, or chess club president, they're going to say things they don't mean just to get your vote. Now, that's just the way it is. Now, if anyone never heard of a campaign promise, I'm sorry, I don't know, oops, I just kicked the tripod. I'm sorry, but you just don't understand the way these things work. Now, <clears throat> this is the way it was explained to me. If someone's been in office for far too long, and they haven't done anything to mention, anything worth mentioning, rather, or they haven't done what they were supposed to do, according to the people, then it's time for them to leave. It doesn't matter if they're Republican, Democrat, Independent. doesn't matter about any of that stuff. If they haven't done anything in that seat, they're too comfortable, they don't deserve to stay there, get somebody else in there. It doesn't matter who the other person is. You had your chance, you didn't do it, time to get out. Now that's what it boils down to, uh, on the surface anyway. When it comes to all of these big issues, uh, do they really come through anyway? Probably not. Because... There's a whole conglomeration of a machine behind this one person that makes up the government. It's not just the one person. Okay, now that goes, you know, when it comes to president or on a lesser uh, scale when you're talking about the governor and uh, different things like that. But honestly, especially when it comes to senators or representatives when they've been in office for 20 years, they're too comfortable. They've made their connections and got their payouts and, and everything with... With and if people don't think that people get don't get kickbacks in the government, that politicians don't get kickbacks, if you think that politicians don't get kickbacks, you're sadly mistaken. I don't care what level you're talking about, there's always a kickback. There is always a kickback. Don't let anybody tell you any different. That's why the roads look like they do. That's why nothing ever gets done, because everyone is always skimming off the top. That's just the way it is. I don't know why, but no matter who it is, they're getting their kickback every month. That's why they're so rich. You don't get rich off of a job that pays the same amount as a teacher. So, anyway, that being said, because, you know, especially when it comes to real estate. You ever see these politicians, the real estate they have? Okay, that, that, that's my point right there. Uh, and if you don't know about that, look it up. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh, that being said, you really have to get somebody new that doesn't have the connections yet, that hasn't made all of their best friends into everything else. But what... <clears throat> Excuse me, whatever. Honestly, you need to look at politicians the way you would look like a baseball team. If someone's not playing that base or in the outfield or pitching or whatever, if someone's not doing their job, you get them out. And you get somebody else, you give somebody else a try, rather. That's just the way it is. I really think this country would be much better if we did that more often. People get too comfortable. People start saying, well, you know, I'm going to do something in my next four years. Yeah, what have you done in this four years? Anyway, you might disagree with me. You might agree with me. If you like this video, put a comment below. I'm off to the races. I love you all. Stay safe. This is the Illuminator, and I'll be back. And before I get out of here, I just wanted to say a big thank you for coming over and watching. It really means a lot to me. If you liked the video you just saw, hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button. It's 100% free. It'll help keep you up to date on all my videos and vlogs. And don't forget to ring that bell.
When are you gonna clean this bathroom? You're in the kitchen. Oh, thank God.